This is my guide for making super fluffy, tender flatbreads with that perfect chewiness. They're packed full of flavour due to the way that we cook them and they taste amazing served hot or cold. So let's get cooking. Add two teaspoons of instant dry yeast to the bowl of a stand mixer. And then we're gonna add in 480 ml or two cups of warm water. Stir it together and leave for about five minutes until foam appears on the top of the water. Now add in four tablespoons of olive oil, 780 grams, which is about six and a half cups of strong bread flour. And a teaspoon and a half each of sugar and table salt. Now we're going to place that bowl on the stand mixer using the dough hook attachment and put it on a low speed. Now we're going to let that knead in the stand mixer for about 10 minutes using the dough hook. If you wanted to knead by hand instead, it's quite a sticky dough, so I'd recommend coating your board and your hands in a little bit of olive oil to stop it all sticking together. Now this is the really important bit for the flavour and texture of the bread. We're going to cover it up and then we're going to leave that to prove for about 60 to 90 minutes until that dough is doubled in size. Okay, now it's time to tip it out and shape it into balls. So I've got a well floured board here and we're going to divide the dough into 12 equal-ish pieces. Now take one of those pieces of dough and form it into a ball and then we're going to roll it into a rough flatbread shape about 19 centimetres in diameter and about half a centimetre thick. We want to heat a cast iron pan over a medium to high heat and brush it with just a tiny little bit of oil. Then toss the bread back and forth a couple of times in your hands to remove excess flour and place it in the pan. So we're going to let that cook for about 60 to 90 seconds until bubbles start to appear on the top of the dough. And then we turn it over and cook for a further minute. And while that's cooking, we're going to roll out the next one. So we just do them one at a time. They might get a little bit smoky as we continue to cook them, but just keep your pan clean, giving it a little bit of a wipe out with some tissue on a set of tongs. Now place the cooked flatbread on a plate and cover with a clean tea towel. That'll help keep the breads nice and soft. And then we're gonna repeat for the rest of the flatbreads. And there you go, there are my perfect soft and fluffy flatbreads, perfect with my pork gyros and some lovely creamy whipped feta. See you next time.